Hello, good evening. This is uh, Ruth Pozuela from Incredible.com and uh, today I'm going to make a short video to show you how to import uh, SharePoint libraries in Power BI to do some reporting on that and also how to create uh, links to, in this case, the SharePoint uh, documents that we will import, but you can use that to web URLs or any link that you actually need. Um, so let's go through that. Um, if you have tried to import something uh, from SharePoint into Power BI, you have probably realized that you can import folders and you can import lists, but there is no connector on how to import uh, libraries, which I think it's a little bit strange, um, but uh, of course, if you do a little bit of googling, you will find that uh, somebody already realized or find out how to import um, libraries, and I'll, I will show you that it's actually quite easy. We just need to change something in the actual query. So. We're going to, we can start with either list or folder. Just take the first one folder, a SharePoint folder, and we need to um, give Power BI the URL of the folder in the SharePoint site. So if we go to my SharePoint site here, here is a shared documents library. We copy that in there. And you see that you get this error and it says that uh, well it just wants the root URL so what it's saying is that it just wants the actual there you go so in this case the, this SharePoint site is called the uh, IntCube uh, com and that's the one that it wants so it was a high level url not the actual path to the library or the folder or the list so once we have that click ok and now it will ask you to authenticate yourself uh, you will do that with your organizational account So, connect. And we are going to click on edit because we don't want folder. We want a library, just the contents of a specific library. So what we need to do is on the source, it says SharePoint files. We will remove files and change it by content and then click enter and here you will see the libraries and all kinds of stuff but also the libraries here is my shared documents library I will click on it table so the contents will give you everything that is on that site and here we have it this is the here are the documents that are inside that library. You don't see them there, but if I expand on this campaign, uh, campaign tracking and whatever it is, uh, search engine and yeah. So all these files are now here. So we just want the files. We'll remove the first row. Um, and the extension we don't want, you, you might want it, just in this case I will remove it. Maybe you want to filter by PDFs or Docs or whatever it is. Um, if you want, you can have this data access. I don't want it. I don't want any metadata either. So what we're going to do, I actually, let's go and import this first. And I'll show you what we're going to do next. 
So here it has loaded. And what I would like to have is a list. Let's do this a little bit bigger so we see something. So a list with the name of the document and then a link directly to the actual document. So it's easier to find uh, and open files. And to do that, what we need to do, if we go back to the query editor or Power Query, what we need to do is the import it actually give us a folder path and then we have also the document name. So if we put these two together, we will actually get the actual path to the document. So we will build that a column, custom column, and then let's call it here URL, for example. And then we will concatenate those folder path and name. And you see here, it's just giving us the entire path. I don't know if you see it, you probably do, or you cannot do it bigger. Well, you, you see it there. This is the entire path to the document. So we load that. And then if you add it here, you will see again the entire path. Now, what would, would be great is just to be able to click on here and then get to the actual document or web URL or whatever you're actually trying to build. Um, you can do this by going into here data and then you have to take this URL column, go to modeling and here data category you choose a web URL. Okay. So you have to classify this column as a web URL. Go back, then you will see that it's actually built the link and you see that it is clickable, which is quite cool. So if I click on, I don't know, any of these. Well, it will ask me first to log in. Probably haven't. And then here it comes. So it's quite neat, isn't it? You actually have access to directly to the document. If you don't want it to load it, you can just fix that in SharePoint. So it opens on the um, word on the web or whatever that functionality is called. Um, the last thing I want to show you is that, you know, this takes too much space and you don't want that. I mean, uh, you already know what the file is called. It says it here, so you don't actually need to know exactly where it's located. So what you actually can do, if, if you go here to the formatting, you have to select first the visual and then you go to formatting and here in under values, it says URL icon. If you click on, look, it just gets like an image. And again, it's, if you click on it, it will take you to the actual document, but it won't take as much space as before. So this is quite cool. And uh, you can then, uh, you know, with Power BI and the time functions, you can, start to do reports on new documents added to the library or when were the last documents modified. If you are working on projects, it's extremely useful to, to understand which documents are being added or deleted or latest modified or whatever it is. So you can have your own reports with direct links to the actual files or drawings or whatever it is that you have on your SharePoint site. So I hope you find this uh, video useful. If you have any comments as usual, just let me know either in the comments or you can just contact me. Uh, there is a contact me link on the description box. 
um have a good evening bye